Well, good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of Trailer Trucking with me, Fake Trucking. You see the truck there in the background? We're getting loaded here in, uh, you could consider this like northwestern Minnesota. Uh, we're picking up a load of frozen peas going to Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Uh, it's a one day run. I should be there. I think we're about five and a half hours away from Stevens Point. So let's go watch, watch uh, them load my truck. loaded they had a scale on site where you had to weigh each individual axle and then do some math to figure out if you were at legal weight but man talk about a fast loading uh time i'm loaded in 45 minutes from the time i got here until when i'm leaving paperwork in hand already scaled let's get trailer trucking so this shipper had its own scale but you had to weigh the axles independently so here's how you do it here's my steers then you're gonna see my steers and drives. So you subtract 43,860 from 11,880, and that gives you a total of 31,980 on your drives. Now here is my tandems, my rear tandems. You add all these numbers up, and that gives you a gross vehicle weight of 76,160. Cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly If you think you'll win, ha, not fucking likely I be taking shots, yeah, cold-blooded, icy Watching numbers grow is what I call sightseeing In the front row, run it up when they hype me So let's talk a little bit about this load Because in no way, shape, or form was this load a home run But there's, there's strategy when you become an owner-operator Sometimes you have to bite a bullet you're not always gonna win sometimes you're gonna have to lay down a sacrifice bunt to put yourself in a position to come up next time and hit a single or a double or even a triple um, and that's kind of what I did here um, this load originated out of west of Sox Center Minnesota which is a hundred and fifty mile deadhead for me um, it is not a typical area I haul out of at all uh, but there was no freight in Minnesota uh, yesterday or today. Um, so I took what was available to me and understood what this load actually means to me. This load is my fuel for like the next basically three loads. Um, and that's why I took it. So let's talk a little bit about this load. This load paid $1,090. Now I work for an 80-20 split carrier, which means my portion of that 1090 was $872. Um, all miles on this load were 500. I had 350 loaded miles, which was a rate per mile of $2 and like 74 cents. But I had a 150 mile deadhead to get this load. So that really hurt me. I mean, that basically almost what what is that's almost fifty percent of the load was deadhead. Um, you know, considering the lo loaded miles were three hundred and fifty miles. Um, so all in all, this load paid me a dollar seventy four a mile. Now, why did I take it? Because you know what? It got me out of a horrible market. Um, to be honest with you, for some reason, the freight market where I'm live and where I like to haul out of is is drying up I I don't really understand why but there's just no freight to be moved right now so I came up along with the help of my dispatcher a plan to maybe lay down a sacrifice bunt and get me a load to a better freight market so that's what I chose to do and it set me up to hit basically a double tomorrow 
and then a triple. I mean, I I I got a couple of loads that are paying over four four dollars a mile. Um, I I believe that's very good for the current market that we're in. But I have to understand that that's not going to happen all the time. So once again, just to recap, this was all in 500 miles. It originated west of Sox Center, Minnesota, and came to Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Um, there was a 150 mile deadhead involved in this, which leaves me my 80% at $1.74 per mile. But you know what? I understand, you know, and I'm, I'm in this for the long haul and I understand not every, not every load is going to be a home run. And you know what? I'm set up that I'm actually still profitable at $1.74 a mile. That's not what I want to haul, but I'm profitable at it. All my expenses are paid. And if I paid myself per load, I could pay myself something for this. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode of Trailer Trucking. Um, hope everybody had a great day. And until next time, you know what it is. Keep on trucking. <laughs>